Good morning. I'm going to read from Acts chapter 14. This is verses 21 through 24. It says, After preaching the good news in Derby and making many disciples, Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra, Iconia, and Antioch of Pisidia, where they strengthened the believers. They encouraged them to continue in the faith, reminding them that we must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Paul and Barnabas also appointed elders in every church. With prayer and fasting, they turned the elders over to the care of the Lord in whom they had put their trust. Then they traveled back through Pisidia and Pamphylia. And through the years, Anne and I have served together in many different churches. In seminary, we were at a tiny church in southern Indiana for a little over a year. Then we spent eight years at two different churches in Kentucky. We spent four years in Amherst, five years in Collinsville, Virginia, five years in Zuni, Virginia, and 12 years here in Sandston. Each time that we uh, have felt the Lord leading us to, to move, we face difficulties in transition, some more so than others. Uh, some churches were very difficult to leave, while others weren't as hard. And, and often it wasn't related to, you know, how much we loved a particular location. It wasn't that. It was, um, it was related to the state of the church when we, when we left and how good the leadership team was that we left behind, how stable that church was. You know, we've seen churches thrive after we departed. <laughs> um, and we have seen churches literally fall apart. <clears throat> the difficult thing for me is to not take the blame, well, nor the credit, for whatever follows. This passage from Acts has a key verse in it that helps me keep this in perspective. It says, Paul and Barnabas appointed elders in each church, every church. With prayer and fasting, they turned the elders over to the care of the Lord in whom they had put their trust. You know, none of these churches have been mine. Though we often use that phrase to describe our churches, my church, my church this, my church that. But it's an identity thing. It's not an ownership thing. None of these churches have been mine. Neither have they belonged to the deacons or the staff left behind. They all belong to the Lord. And he is perfectly capable of delivering his church. Though, as Paul warned, we may suffer many hardships... God still determines the direction of his church. Pray with me. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of being part of the local congregation of believers. There are times where you uproot us, move us on, Help us to find new places to serve. And in those moments, we often have to leave behind and trust into the care of the Lord those who remain. Lord, we know that you are perfectly capable of seeing your church through and causing it to thrive. We are under no illusions that the growth of your ch church is dependent upon how good we are. But Lord, it's dependent upon you and how in tune we are with you. And that true growth, genuine growth occurs as we look to you and seek your will. So, Lord, I pray today that that would be our goal.
our task, that we would focus our eyes on you and that you would work in the midst of your church wherever that local congregation may be. Pray this in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again next week.